Good afternoon everyone and welcome to this week's craft. I'll be showing you how to make watercolor leaf art. So let's get to it. First thing you're going to need is just take your leaf template and a white crayon. You want to make your outline as wide as possible and really press down hard almost until you leave an indent. And then you're just going to take your watercolor um, tissue paper. This um, tissue paper bleeds when it's wet. So basically it bleeds the colors out of it. You could rip it up. You could leave it perfectly square. It's up to you. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to wet the tissue paper as you go along. There's different ways you could do it. You could wet sponge and dab it. You can use a paintbrush. Some people use a spray bottle full of water. It's entirely up to you. As I just like to put the colors down and I wet it as I go along. Sometimes you notice that the color is seeping more on the one side than the other side of the tissue paper, so I just like flip it over. And what the white crayon will do is it won't absorb any of the color from the watercolors. So it'll leave the outline of the leaf. And like I said, I like to use the paintbrush. Some people use this like a spritz bottle and they spray the tissue paper, but I don't want to overly sort of soak the paper, even though this is watercolor safe paper. I just like to move the um, water around on the tissue paper and then at the end I sort of see how much has come through and I go from there. And like I said before, I periodically do just turn over the tissue paper and move it around because you can still get a lot of color from it. Even though it looks like it's bled out a lot, you could just keep moving it around, re-soaking it. And then the water that bubbles up, you could use your brush to move the color down or you could dab it with paper towel. This technique, I just dabbed it. And then wherever there was white spots, I just added more tissue paper. And you're supposed to just take a little bit of the color from the top of the tissue paper, wet your brush and brush it somewhere else. Basically using the wet tissue paper like it was a watercolor palette. Now for this one, I decided to fill in all those little white spots, obviously, except for the leaf outline, but it's entirely up to you. If you'd like to leave it a little bit more wispy looking, that's entirely up to you. And at the end, these are the examples I have. I'll talk about this one in just a second, why I use the back of it. But first, let's, this is the one that was just in the video. This is what it looks like when it's all dry. It's a perfectly usable postcard that you can use for Thanksgiving. Now, this is an example I did because on the other side, I sort of made a mistake. So basically I used the white crayon, but I didn't press hard or wide enough. So it came out very, very thin. So it's a little bit more of an abstract leaf than the one I ended up with. So to practice, I used the back of it. And the only difference I did in technique was in the purple and blue one. I just used a brush all the way through it and I didn't blot it at any time with a paper towel. And as I used the back of it, that's no longer worked well as a postcard. But my other one is you could use it as a postcard, as a Thanksgiving greeting card, or you could just use it as frameable art. It's entirely up to you. I hope you enjoyed today's craft. Feel free to experiment with different techniques. You could try using this technique on just plain watercolor paper as well. I hope you enjoy. Until next time, stay well. Bye!